Surprise! You get a second video this week. I know I said a while ago I was going to start doing two videos a week on this channel. Um, maybe starting that at the same time as The Reckoning was a little on the ambitious side, but I think I've figured out the scheduling so I still have some kind of semblance of a social life. Uh, while I take care of all this, I really do enjoy it, so don't don't feel bad for me or anything. I love this job, but we've got a whole lot of really horrible stuff to get through today. You're gonna love it, um, but enough about me. This woman right here, we got another one, folks. A DoorDash driver who got a notification, right, that their food that they were supposed to be delivering to their customer had never been delivered. And of course he did deliver it, so he went to her place of work to confront her. Also worth mentioning, this guy is a aspiring rapper. His name is Young Tucci. He's actually not that bad. Excuse me, is Chris still on the clock? Who? Chris K. Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay. Do you know what office you're looking for? There she is. Hello. So you didn't get the DoorDash order? I'm sorry? You didn't get the DoorDash order from earlier? I'm at work currently and I have no idea what you're talking about. I, she, she even okay. saw you with the what food. I mean, okay. you guys have cameras here. You said the order this. never arrived. I don't know. What do you mean? So, why does it say that the customer says the order never arrived? I don't know. Okay. They couldn't make it for him. And were you just trying to get free food and put my job on the line? They didn't do anything. Okay, well, we're we got to figure something out because it says that the customer says the order never arrived and I got a contract violation. Gotcha. I'm an independent contractor. Yeah, it's with okay. Carrie, the... So, that puts my job at risk? The the so assistant we're going to have to yeah. call DoorDash support off your phone because I but wasn't the one that said the order never arrived. It's on, it's an on your side of things. What? I did it online, but, uh, I don't. It, didn't you, it doesn't just randomly yeah, happen magically. You have to get a hold of DoorDash support directly to say that the order never arrived. Okay. Um, it's a shared account, so it might be yeah, something that somebody else Medicare. did accidentally. I would have to talk okay. to them. Okay, well, but we're going to... currently at work. Yeah, I'm yeah. currently at work, too, and now my job's at risk because of... Right, I don't know. I, she said your boyfriend's name is Chris. She said she saw you with the food. So you, you got the food earlier, right? You down here, sir? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, yeah, first you, I didn't do anything. Okay. I think I'm in the right place. Okay, well... I could have used the wrong card, and he refunded it. It wasn't... Thought, it wasn't... You can't know. refund it. It's What's you... Your last name? You... Reported the order as never arrived. There's no refund about that. Well, maybe, I mean, there is a refund if you don't get your order, I think, for your food. But that's the point of that is people don't get, like, my job's at risk. I can't just give you free food and, and sweep it under the rug. Like, it's not how it works. Like, I have a job too. I have five kids. I got to feed. Like, it's not. I get that, but I didn't do it, so I mean... I well, I understand, so can we pull okay, the phone out and figure them, out... I can't do yeah, it right now. let's... Okay. So, but you got the food earlier? Yes. Okay. I'm All right. Not, I'm not... I didn't do it. I'm sure that you will have just as many questions about this next uh, clip as I do, but the biggest thing that stuck out to me is at the very beginning, why does he say, we've got another one? This seems like something you see once in your life. We got another one. Are you gonna try to get out on? Well, I mean, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. What is going on? <laughs> this is wild. What are you doing? That is a sidewalk, dude. <laughs> Oh, please! Yes! Oh. <laughs>
Well, I can't be 100% sure that she's definitely telling the truth. Um, everything about this seems to suggest that she was. She accuses this woman of straight up jumping in line in front of her uh, right before she starts recording the interaction. She was in line. This lady was so entitled that she felt that she could uh, jump in first. She has some choice words for this uh, Karen-esque woman. Um... Yeah, she's not backing down, I'll tell you that much. No, I'm talking to you, I'm not to you. Don't really have a manager here today? <laughs> I need to talk to somebody in charge. Okay. I am. I'm not talking to him about that, and I don't want to hear you talk about me. But what's the part of ignorance? Like, you, I was waiting in line just at, right where she's at. You that's, were writing something on that table. No, I had my check already on the table. I did not write anything. Mm -hmm. But what makes you come in here with the authority thinking that you could just come in here? Being rude. Baby, you came in here being rude, honey. This ain't the 60s. Like, let's be, let's be real. No, she don't have to tell me to hush. Because right is right and wrong is wrong. We're not in the 60s, honey. We're in the two. We're, this is 2023. Let's get it together. You look like you might have been. Oh, baby, we're probably related. So don't play with me. We're, we're probably related. Yeah. Okay, check my history. Yeah, yeah, I want to ask him. Yeah, I want to talk to somebody. He's the best person, so you can take me over there and we'll be with you just a minute. Right. Baby, she got the right one today, honey. I just need the cash. Okay. You have the She was a scary I don't. Okay. I don't. But the, my client does. Okay, so I'm going to use $5. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I'm telling you. Like, honey, we is in 2023. Like, life is too short for all that ignorance. Come on now. Honey, very much so. You want to come here with the ignorance? <laughs> I'm going to say, we're probably not related. Baby, look at my look at my folks. Honey, my family name, whole weight, baby. But I hope you have a better day. And I pray for you. I pray for you and your ignorance. Pray for you. Oh, baby, Jesus loves me very much, honey. But your ignorance in today's world is absolutely disrespectful and it's yeah, disgusting. It's disgusting. I was standing right there like, a, like an innocent person. Right where she was, that's where I was. You came up in here jumping the line thinking that you had some type of authority. Listen, lady, don't, don't do me. Very much let's, so. Let's just let, I'll handle it, I promise. Yeah, please do. Because I was, listen, I'm trying to get an account with y'all and like, like listen. Hmm. Oh, I know y'all don't condone it, but she needs to know. You need to know your ignorance is disrespectful. Thank you, baby. Me too, baby. Thank you so much. Y'all see this lady? Ignorance in Dalton, Alabama. This TikTok account normally posts uh, videos about their business, uh, detailing by Luna. They happen to catch this really weird back and forth that they're having with one of their neighbors in the area that they work. So he says, yesterday while detailing a neighbor's car on our public street, my other neighbor came out to tell me that it is illegal to run a business out of my house and also made the assumption that I must not pay taxes. Unfortunately, she wouldn't repeat it when I started recording. She started taking pictures of myself, my wife, and my work van. This neighbor inherited a house in San Francisco where she doesn't live in but stays occasionally a few times a month. Every time they come by to renovate, her son or her continue to harass me about things that they do not like. For instance, the fact that her neighbor used to let us parallel park in her driveway, something that would anger this lady's adult son for absolutely no reason as it didn't affect them or their property hey everybody here i am in san francisco big just boy. a city big native boy. trying to the run my boy. business yeah. here detailing some cars now my white karen neighbor here trying to call the cops on me because i'm trying to make a little money to support my family keep keep talking get your guys here huh what guys keep that's talking. what you said i said you can call the cops i don't care no you said i'm gonna get all cops, my so. guys here to help all my me. guys to help me what 
you're, you're, we've been here for 27 years and you we're, somebody in your family dies and you get this house and you come once a month to do some kind of renovation on the inside. We don't even live here, but when you come, you complain about every little thing in this neighborhood. Why don't you answer the only question I asked you is, are you going to continue doing this? And what if I say yes? You were threatening to call somebody, that they're going to shut me down, that I don't pay taxes. How do you know I don't pay taxes? Never said a word like you that. You said that the city does not collect taxes from me. That's what you came out saying. But now that I have this phone in your face, you won't repeat it. No. That must be pretty pathetic of you. Why don't that you just listen? That is pretty pathetic of you. Why are you so pathetic? You're just like your son. Mm. That loser was terrible. This gets personal, huh? <laughs> oh, I hate your son. Got it. What is that going to do? Record me too? That's fine. Yeah, please. That's, that's fine. That's a great idea. Well, wow, that's a great idea. I'm going to throw this on TikTok. Say your TikTok loves again. white people attacking Hispanics and blacks and minorities for absolutely no reason. But now you're not saying what you were saying before. You you, you had said that I wasn't paying taxes. That this is a legal business. I can't do this because I don't pay taxes. Well, you know what? My business is not even registered at this address because I run a fully mobile operation. I am licensed with the state of California. I have an LLC set up and I pay taxes to the city tax board. Good. In San Francisco, so I don't see what the issue is. It isn't an issue. My question I'm not, was, are you going to continue doing this in front of your house? I'm, in front of my house. I'm right doing I'm doing a house. mobile job for a neighbor. So he lives right there. So technically I'm in front of his house. You see that van? Everything's in the van. It's a mobile workshop. Then your answer would be no. Okay. All you had to okay. do is say well, no. This neighbor wants me to wash the car and I do it right there. What's going to be the issue? Why didn't you tell me that? What's the dis deception i don't i don't understand you're attacking you came out here and you assume i wasn't paying taxes that, that had nothing you came out here and you question. assumed i was not paying taxes don't come out with your assumptions <laughs> thinking that i'm not paying taxes because you're not uh, using any assumptions <laughs> you know, you're doing assumptions these parents get into a shouting match setting a wonderful example of course for all of their small children who are watching um over who's the worst parent essentially no, 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 yeah, no, 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 Yeah, yeah. Come and see what happens. No, listen to me. Talk to my son see what happens. I did. Huh? I did. Give me the jack your job. Is that what you want, man? Go for it. Is that what you Go want? Go for it. Is that what you want? Go for it. Yeah. Why do you keep saying the same thing? Go for it. If you're going to do it, do it. Just get the kids and let's go. You screamed at a three-year-old child. He's a child. Keep the kid there. Why were you not watching your... I was right here behind you. You were kid. directly in front of listen, me. I wasn't going to push listen, you out of the way. Your come child on, directly listen, went and pushed her away. And I was let's right go, here listen, to listen, grab listen. him. You no, didn't give me a... Sir, you were standing directly in front of me. Listen, listen, listen. Don't be a prick. How about that? Let's go. Be a better parent. Oh, because he's world parent right there. Let's put my parent on you to scream at a three-year-old child in the face. That's not my kid. Exactly. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you're about to get in a fight on a public bus, take a step back for one second and think to yourself, did I cause this confrontation or did they? And if the answer is the former, just get off the bus. Just stop what you're doing. Get off the bus. Go home. Nobody respect you. You ain't giving me well, no respect. You, you standing right over logic. me like this, man. Just What's wrong with like this? What's I'll, wrong? You was mad okay, close to me, man. You was mad ass. close to me. Why you doing that? Because I feel like it. You feel like it, right? Yeah, so I feel you like want, standing you here. You got beef with me, let's step outside. Step outside if you got first. beef with me, let's step outside. Can you step outside first? If you can't step outside first, I can't no, go you're out. You're a sucker. You shut up, man. If you don't have a problem. You want to step outside? You want to step outside? Yeah. You want to step outside? Yeah. You want to step outside? You want to step outside? Well, I'm, I'm, like, Listen, literally, I was, respect, don't stand over me like that. I'm telling you, don't do that. Okay, can you tell me your age? I don't age? care. Tell okay. me your age. I don't care what you say. Don't worry about how old I am. Well, probably, what? Don't worry about how old you will find out. You can't stand over me, I'm going to break your... These folks get into an epic battle over the parking space that they were fighting over in, not physically, but verbally fighting over in the parking lot. That battle spills over into the store, which is where this uh, recording starts, and then spills back out into the streets. You think she could just cut people off in the parking lot, too? Because she has MS, and we're all supposed to know that. You called me a bitch because I swung No one told you. Bitch. There you go. You swung in front of me. Yeah. Oh, she heard. Yeah, she, said it. Ah, she said it. She said it. She said it. 
You just said it. You left the lady in front of me. Do you see you. this? She's pushing oh, carts at me. Do you see this? Where are they at? Well, I don't have all day. <laughs> then go ahead. This is not my car, so whoever you get to rent a car, but I sure have yours. So if there's any trouble, all because I saw you call me a bitch, I went in there, and that's too far for you. One, two, three, four. No, it, no, no, no one's no, no, saying no, no, no that. No one's saying that. No, 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 no one's one saying that. that. Yes, you are. No. No, no one is Why saying no. that. Your so your bad. reaction. What did you? It was this how spot ignorant for? you were. Mm -hmm. I was in the store and I said you had to call me a bitch because I got that spot. Who called you a bitch? Yeah. In the car. I you could hear what I'm talking about in the oh, car. I could see your, yes, I could. You see just it. know everything. You know everything. Yeah. Okay. I just know. I'm not and do you think it was okay hair. that you whipped a cart at me? No, I pushed do you, it. Do you think that was okay? Whipping is side You pushed it really hard at me. You think that was okay? It was. Oh, for for what was, you said, you have mental illness, Lindsay. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I you are Actually, insane. Now, a few of you may say, well, maybe it was illegal that this guy was riding his motorbike back and forth on this trail. Maybe he wasn't supposed to be doing that. Okay, great. Um, that still doesn't excuse the way that this lady went about this whole thing. Very weird, very awkward, very cringy. Um, don't be like this. Bro! Uh-uh! Stop touching my stuff! Well, why are you riding your bike in here? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? You're crazy. You're crazy. Karen. Karen. Okay, oh, wild Karen, you, right? actually. This is crazy. So bad for your dogs. Well, good. Yeah, you probably do this to them too, huh? Yeah, you. Torture them? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bad. Yeah, you tortured all the animals in here with your bike. What are you, you talking about? You realize it's against the law to have a bike in here? Are you that stupid? Are you that stupid to touch me? You're, you're, you're getting a real charge for that. Good. I might, I might get like trespassing or oh something. You're gosh. getting a real charge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're really making me a uh -huh. Turn the bike off. No, I stop call touching my I'm property. I'm calling the cops. Stop touching me. I'm, well, then you call the cops. Call the cops. No, whoa, whoa. Do not wait. What Don't are you doing? Touch. And so why are you riding your bike in, in a, a non, a, a motorized bike in a place where you cannot ride your bike? Just answer my question. Oh, you, who are you to answer? I don't have to answer I'm any sorry. questions from me. Yeah. Uh, it's the main trail right off of Flint Ridge. Can we walk towards the exit nope. then? Oh, oh okay. Well, you're going to run away. You're going to make them walk all the way over here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't even need to run away. You have my plates in my picture. It's just stupid. Yeah, what's your, what's your plate so I can... They can make sure we can get this bike away they'll, from they'll, No, they'll get it. Don't you okay. worry. Don't, don't you worry. worry. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll also get you that charge as well. Yeah, he's still here. Yeah, he's, she's he's, still holding on to me, by the way. Still, still holding on to me. He's holding his, uh, he's running his big mouth. Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> I don't do things illegally, buddy, by riding your bike. Buddy. A motorized bike. <laughs> in a non-bike area. Oh yeah? But you oh, yeah, it's funny. He thinks it's funny that he's, that he's- No, I think it's funny. What is he wearing? He's watch, wearing a South uh, East Western University t-shirt. Really gray, tall, handsome, uh, just white, beautiful guy. White uh, he's slacks, very handsome. Um, he really ugly, black, <laughs> uh, white hat. Uh, beautiful, just uh, beautiful shoes, creature. And he's got a big mouth on him <laughs> and he thinks he's real funny. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, I'd say he's, I don't know. I think he's kind of white, but I don't know. Kind of? Who oh, knows? that's a compliment. I'm tan. Good deal. He's like, he's like 15 and he's uh, got a big, huge mouth on him. And he thinks she's he, still he on my bike everything. right now. But she knows that. Yeah, that's illegal. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, we'll see. She's at forcing, not letting me the leave. The bike is uh, black. <laughs> Can you please get your hands off my bike? I, I'm just standing in front of it. So please get your move. hands off my bike. Uh, I, I don't want to say it in front of him. She is preventing me from leaving. What's your name? She wants to know what your name is. I'm not giving that out. He's, he's just being a complete brat. He thinks he's, uh, 
he thinks he's like a, a, oh, a I, smart I, I guy know. by riding no, in a bike with He with knows animals. he is. He knows he is. Oh, he knows he's really yeah. smart. He's trying to... No, I have no idea who this guy is. She's le and not letting me leave right now. For the last 45 minutes, he cannot ride his bike in here. And I'm trying and to leave, actually, and she's not letting me up leave. Up and down and up and down. Yeah. And he won't leave, <laughs> obviously. So I want, I want him arrested. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, you don't know how the law works. Well, this next man has absolutely had it with bar windows and open signs, and he's going to show you what he does when he's had it with something. <laughs> So this couple gets chased out of a uh, apparel store. They just bought a $300 pair of shoes. They get chased uh, while they're leaving and they're commanded to to, you know, show them under their clothes and everything. Accused of stealing is what I'm getting at. Uh, they obviously, they're very offended and upset by this. So in order to make a point, they come back to the store and return the $300 item that they just bought. Bet this store feels pretty silly. Oh, what? You don't have to unzip my jacket. For what? Did you see me put something in my jacket? I'm not saying you Did you see me put something in my jacket? You see me put something in my jacket? You, you racist. What the I put in my jacket. What the f I put in my jacket? Hey, give me a refund. Can these people talk f racist? What the f you say me put anything in my jacket? Why your shoes? Why would I refund? Please. What the f you gonna walk me down to pull my jacket? What did I put in my jacket? Give me a refund. You racist, man. I bought them. Tell me about my money now. You guys are racist, man. I need a refund. Give me back my money. I need a refund. I need a refund. Who's gonna do the refund? I just saw it. Bro, the yeah, part yeah, of what? Yeah. you walk us down, yeah, you're telling me to pull my yeah. jacket. Yeah. What I'm gonna pull my jacket for? Okay. Do you have a camera? Yeah. Do you have cameras? Go check your camera. Go check your camera. Yeah. Yeah. Bumbo clad. Yeah, hey, give me a refund. Yeah, give me a refund before yeah. I start getting yeah. mad in yeah. this bumbo clad. Give me a rip. The receipt is in the box. One of the box. Then I get mad in this bumbo clad. Yeah, we can't. Give me a f Racist, down to, to what? What are they walking me down for? What the f you guys walking me down for? What are they walking me down for? Huh? Sir, walking me down for? Give me a refund. I don't want to hear anything. Give me a bum buckler refund. Give so me that mash up in this bum buckler. Give me my money. Give me my money. You guys are wrong. You guys are Walking down, walking we can't down the stand. I know. You should have asked the person who gave us the shoes. How are we going to get the shoes? Give us a refund. Let me leave this bum buckler place. That's it. Give us a refund. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And, and the situation. No, we don't want to know. You know, not situation. You guys insulted us. You guys insulted us. We just spent three bum buckler hundred dollars. Three bum buckler hundred dollar we spent. What the f are you doing? Give us a refund. Give us a bum buckler refund. No, we don't want no conversation. You guys insulted us. What the walk us down so far? To open my jacket? For what? I don't know. You know how much money we got on us? No, no. We got money, bro. We got bum buckler money on us. What the bum buckler? Thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time.